Hi guys, this is Mario from Dwellcore Studio. In this episode, I will show you how to make a moving platform that is easy to modify, how to move player with that platform, and how to avoid common mistake like this. Okay, first create new game object, rename it to platform holder. For start, let's create two empty child game objects that will be our points and also add platform as child object. Idea is to move platform between these points. Make sure that the value on Y for position is zero. Also, make sure that your platform has collider and a rigid body. Set body type to kinematic so that external forces won't affect our platform. We will have fully control over platform transform from script. Select platform, create new C sharp script, moving platform and go to Visual Studio. First, we need a array of transform points between our platform will move. Also, we need starting point, target point and some speed. In start function, we can set position of platform to point position we want. With this line of code, we simply choose position of our platform when the game starts. In update function, we set transform position to vector 2 move towards. We want to move from our current transform position to one of the points position and we choose wanted point with target point value. Set speed and multiply that with time delta time. After that, we want to check if our platform position is equal to the point position. If that is true, our platform needs to go to the next point position. So we increase target point by one. Next, we check if target point equals to point array length. That means if platform is on the last point position, then we want to move it to the first point position and we do that by setting target point to zero. Go back to Unity, set array size to number of points you have, in this case two. Let's say that we want to start from point 0 and move to point 1 position. Set speed, don't forget to set a reference for the points and try it. Great, now you can easily add more points. Change size of point array, duplicate one of the points and assign that point. Now platform will move between these three points. But as you can see, player is not moving with the platform. For that, select player, go to player script. We will use on collision enter 2D function. First, we check if player collided with object that has tag platform. Make sure that your platform has that tag. So if that is true, we want to make our player child of that platform and for that we will use transform.setParent function. Here we choose parent transform and that will be platform. If we try this now, player will move with the platform. As you can see, he is child object. But when we move from platform, he is still child object. Easy fix. In player script, use on collision exit to the function. So when we exit collision, set parent to null. And last thing, if you want to avoid this problem, in collision enter function, check if player transform position on Y is greater than platform position on Y. That means that player must stand on platform to become child object. You can increase this number a bit to be sure. Let's test this.
Great. Now you can make a prefab and use it as you wish. Guys, I think this is the last 2D platformer episode. I will make new course just for main menu and UI stuff. Also, next tutorials will be about new stuff in Unity 5.6, mostly for platformer games, 9 slice and composite collider tutorial. Thank you for your support uh, through this platformer course and see you soon.